Surveillance video tonight showing an ATM deposit discrepancy. The guy in this car told us last night that he lost three grand trying to deposit cash. The bank video tells a much different story. CBS News Charlie DeMar reviewed it all and joins us live in the newsroom tonight. Charlie, this one whiplashed on our supposed victim. Brad, good evening. Curran Carradine said he was the victim, claiming his $3,000 deposit simply disappeared last month. But today, Fifth Third Bank investigated those claims, and the surveillance video reveals what appears to be a calculated attempt at a quick money grab. The proof is on the receipts. Um, they could, they could review the camera. It's, it's some type of footage they do have because they do have cameras on the ATM. The proof is absolutely in the cameras. This is the customer pulling in, putting his card into the machine. Larry Magnuson with Fifth Third Bank is showing us the surveillance video from Curran Carradine's so-called cash deposit last month at the Stony Island branch on 79th. Following your call uh, last night, uh, we did a thorough investigation. That investigation reveals Carradine pulling up to the drive through ATM, attempting to deposit what he says are $100 bills, $3,000 in all. They are not ingested because they are not being released. But look close. It appears Carradine doesn't let go of the bills. The money never enters the machine. There's no indication that any funds were ever deposited. This dollar tug of war goes on for several minutes, prompting an air message. In the video, Carradine appears to take a picture of the problem and provided us with this screenshot. But it turns out the number connects to a different bank, not Fifth Third. I guess the transaction ID number mm -hmm. and also the ATM ID yeah, number. So what about the $3,000 receipt slip Curran claims is evidence that he's been wrong? I think the, the video speaks for itself. Well, towards the end of the video, you see him punching numbers into the ATM. The individual does have the opportunity to enter the amount that um, they were attempting to deposit. In this case, $3,000. That's what Curran entered once he got the air screen but the money never left Curran's hands. I've been in banking for 38 years. I've not seen something like this in the, in the past. Now, before reviewing that video today, I spoke with Carradine on the phone and asked him if there's anything he wanted to tell me about that ATM transaction last month, but he stayed firm to his story. He's not returned any of my calls personally, but within the last 20 minutes or so, his fiance did call me, and when I started questioning her about the video, she abruptly hung up. Fifth Third says they are currently evaluating what their next steps might be. Live in the newsroom, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News, Brad. Well, he hoped for it, and there was video. Charles, thank you.